Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing this Human Assassin of Fedhoss for the 0.18 release tournament, and thank god we finally finished up Spider last episode. Uh, by the way, Rose is still here. Now you have to go to Shoals. Uh, no. We will probably, to go to go to, probably go to Vaults. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Elven Halls is really cute in Dwarvish. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> that makes me giggle. <laughs> See, I'm glad, uh, you know, you said you didn't care about the, the writing. Well, okay, but I admit that I am kind of the target audience, so... I wonder why the V in Silver Rune, like, silver, I don't know if you'd really say that. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's see if I can find a Scottish person saying silver. <laughs> Maybe if you found a dwarf. Like a real-life... I mean, life, it's basically faux Scottish. A real-life Tolkien dwarf. Uh, let's put on the ring of resist corrosion since there's a stupid brown ugly thing. Put it on over this. Yeah, damage is getting reasonable. We're down to just four pips of fed off piety, which kind of stinks, but like, whatever. That's what fed off piety is for, it is for being spent. And our damage is finally reasonable. Like, we're actually carving up these ugly things pretty okay. Awesome. I'm, I'm still trying to see if I can find an obvious video of a Scottish person saying silver, but I don't seem to be. 19 things only Scottish people say. Let's find out. <laughs> That's certain to be accurate. Uh, definitely things actual Scottish people say and nobody else says, for sure. I wonder if it's time to do any magic. Probably not. I I don't know. A hat of pondering. Well, that would help with the magic if I really wanted to, but I don't want it nearly that badly. What boots do I have? Plus one? Yeah, so we'll probably buy the boots in the shop here. They're nice and cheap and they might be good for something. Uh, but let's not just charge straight towards the Vault Warden and Yaktars and all them. Let's go ahead and make some spores, yes. <laughs> Apparently, if you're Scottish, it's hard to say Purple Burglar Alarm? I'm not really sure. That, that is what the internet has told me huh. at this time. That, that is what I have learned. That was my lesson for the day. That is an interesting fact. Well, fact in air quotes. Yeah. Let's just quaff a little heal wounds. We have a ton of it and we're a little bit low here. I mean, there's, there's video evidence of at least one Scottish person having a really hard time with it. So there's that. He looks pretty drunk. So, you know. <laughs> So that's how you know he's Scottish? What a racist. No! Oh my god, you fucker! That's not what I said at all! Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. No! I said, like, his his accent is obviously Scottish. Uh-huh. So, like, that's the point that I was trying to make. And also, in addition, he looks pretty drunk, which may be why he has trouble saying Purple Burglar Alarm. That's what I was saying. Mm-hmm. A likely story. You're just a douchebag who thinks that there's some sort of stereotype about Scottish people being drunk all the time. It's mostly Irish people, die actually. Die by a cat. <laughs> Me? No, Justin. That's, that's a, that doesn't really happen anymore. They, they removed jumping a few versions ago. Oh, right. No, no, in, in actual facts, real life, there was, there was a cat dive bomb. I am covered in liquid flames. Awesome. Ye be covered. Yep. Potions of Agility, good find. Oh, it's nice to not have worry about Golden Eye Shapeshifter, or Golden Eyes in general, rather, which I have worried about on previous games. Like, yeah. Last I, time I, I died in Vaults. like confuse you or something? Paralyze. Well, they can do a number of things. I think they can confuse you. They can certainly paralyze you, I happen to know, because that is how I last died in Vaults. Oh, that could be, that could be unpleasant. Mm hmm. I 
I really would like all these guys to be dead, which is what the tab button is supposed to do. <laughs> I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. I disagree. When you want the guys near you to be dead, you press tab. That's really, like, the thing you do. Okay. Unless you have, like, better options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless you have, like, better options. I love it. Oh. Ugh, what have I done? Let's just leave. I don't like it here anymore. All right, you can leave. I'm not stopping you. The door is sealed shut. True fact. See you later, you poor uh, wandering mushrooms. I feel a little guilty about leaving him there, I guess. And your, uh, your god probably won't approve. I can't eat that. What, I wonder what I tried to eat. I tried to eat whatever's on E instead of R. Uh, a fan of Gale's. <laughs> That's delicious. Yum yum. You should really get your get your pica looked into. They uh, they have medicine for that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Pica, pica is the medical condition where you eat things that aren't food. I see. Well, I it's don't have great. that because I keep it keeps not letting me eat them. Well, but you keep trying. That I don't think that is really relevant. So we, and the, importantly, we have like reasonable defenses now without needing the shield of the right. dog. That's a big, big help. Pika is characterized by an appetite for substances that are largely non-nutritive, such as ice, paper, clay, drywall, or paint, metal, chalk, soil, glass, or sand. Uh, yeah, let's just cough a little here. But so it's just the appetite, not the fact that you actually eat them necessarily. Well, I don't even have an appetite for it. I just keep accidentally trying to eat them. <laughs> I think that's exactly... <laughs> you just keep accidentally trying to eat them, but nothing's wrong with you. Yeah. You just keep shoving things in your mouth that aren't food. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that sounds legit. Uh, no. No, it really doesn't. This deep elf archer is going to have to get up pretty early in the morning to sneak one uh, over on me. Uh, you think you can blink away, but I have news for you. What is the news? Ice Blast. Uh, okay, you go ahead and recall stuff way over there. That's fine. The orc sorcerer knows where I am, which I guess is not a big deal. Nothing else he recalled seems to know how to find me. <sighs> yeah, Vaults is going much better than Spider, I think. This water nymph. She's obviously a shapeshifter. Right. Um, but she's still, like, annoying and making water everywhere. See, like, they've left the water nymphs female, uh, but... Is, I mean, nymph, I, in like... It's true. See, but the mermaids, they had to make... See, this is why I was saying, like, it's actually just a little bit weird that they made the mermaids neutral gender. Yeah. Uh, let's make some mushrooms here. Woo! That, I would, my brain would really like to find a way to make that dirty, just so you know. That, that would be gross. <laughs> you don't, you don't think make some mushrooms is like a, is like a dirty thing to say? I think if you say it, you're a dirty person. All right, well, I mean, that's what the kids are calling it these days. That's disgusting. <laughs> Mostly because it makes no sense. <laughs> I think significantly more than half of the euphemisms for sex make no sense. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's not really... They're not... They don't have to make sense. So what you're saying is that let's make some mushrooms is a completely legitimate euphemism for this sex. Is, this is kind of weird. This is like Gozag's uh, money. Like, this <laughs> shop is the Gozag... Uh, he has, like, things that are on sale for, like, ten times the reasonable price. Right. To encourage you to switch to Gozag. Right. But usually, in my experience, there's a giant pile of gold in the middle of this. How strange. Mm, and there isn't this time. And I yeah. don't know if that's because... 
previously when I've seen this altar, it's been in depths, and maybe it fills up with loot depending on where you are, or maybe it's random whether there's gold there. I don't know. So, by the way, when you just change the subject after I've made a cogent argument, that means I win. You do know that, right? Uh, I don't think we're arguing. I made a cogent argument. That doesn't mean we're arguing. Okay. Uh, I don't think either of us was winning either. <laughs> sure, sure, okay. I think it's an unwinnable circumstance. Uh, this guy kind of hurts. Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of hurt. I keep doing really, like, a a taking corners wide, which is, like, wasting a bunch of turns. Yeah, you should stop doing that, then. Whoa, this is not the staircase I used on the way in, apparently. Holy nope, there smokes. Nope, there were two of them near each other. Sorry, should wow. I stop you? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Are you dead? Of, no, but, like, I mean, we might have to blink, honestly. Uh. Oh, those are, those are a little scary. Yeah, they're white, ugly things, which are famous for doing a lot of damage. Oh, and you only have 57 hub right now. Yeah. This is going to go great. I didn't really think there were any stairs we hadn't explored, but apparently, like, well, I know we hadn't. We finished exploring the staircase, but it must have been a while ago, and now suddenly there's a bunch of monsters here for some reason. Yeah, yeah. You should take them outside where you've got exploding mushrooms. Outside? Uh, outside this little room. Do I? I mean, there's green stuff all over the floor. That's yeah. usually what happens when there's exploding mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't really have them reliable. I thought you meant, like, wandering mushrooms. Um, no, 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 no. I said exploding mushrooms. Yeah. I think just we're just... Didn't listen. We're just going to react with extreme prejudice here. Blink out of this. I think that's reacting with extreme defensiveness. Um, and then... I think we'll just teleport. Fine. Alright, let's go find those guys now and kill them so they don't cause any more trouble. Good plan. I approve. Uh, this is a lot of stuff. Let's. I keep forgetting to recharge my hasting. Ah, jeez. Right, scroll of fear. We only have one left, but I'd like to use it here. Okay, got rid of everyone except the Vault Warden, apparently. Uh, but these guys are all ranged, which means in a minute, they're going to all turn around and start shooting at me again. This floor is awfully scary for a floor you thought you were done with. Yeah, no kidding. Let's teleport. Okay, we got the Vault Warden. That's good. And I think we'll teleport before these guys snap out of their fear. Okay. Uh, yep. Yep. Well, he was uh, he was begging for mercy. Mm-hmm. The ballista seats could be useful as well. I mean, that's I guess the thing I should expect from. From evolving stuff is not like immediate usefulness. Like flooding, flooding the whole place with spores is not especially useful. Right, but, but like your goal is to set traps. Well, it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't even really set traps, right? These things mostly don't blow up on enemies. Okay. But what it does give me is um, the option to evolve any of them later. I see. Right when I can, you know, there's there's sort of traps ready to be set, but not yet I set see. all over the place. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That's what I think it's about. I don't know. Okay. File of Floods, we should go pick that up. Okay. You should do that then. We're training a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but some evocations, so we need to make uh, make use of these things where we find them. Makes sense. 
See, like, aren't we... I don't have a lamp of fire. But you know what? I'll use the file of floods right now. Okay. I don't know. Actually, it didn't seem very good at all. Yeah, the boggarts don't seem particularly bothered. We killed one of them, I mean. Okay. Can you... Alright, these guys are not... Vampire mosquitoes are not... Uh, I think that you'll find that they're called vampire mosquitoes. <laughs> Should be vampire mosquitae, perhaps. The plural. But apparently not. I thought that they might be... Um, might be on a kind of zombieish and inclined to fall apart when fed us when you pray to them, but apparently not. Let's just like use I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Back up to here. We got a nice little murder area going. Ugh. Two deep elf sorcerers. Well, yeah, but the demonologists and the annihilators are probably the bigger issue. Oh, well, you know. Let's, uh, no, if I summon anything, it's just, they're just going to abjure it. Yeah, there's damnation. Hooray, damnation. But I really just don't, I don't like any of it. Jeez. Can I kill any of this before I get out of here? Let's be around the corner. We killed one of them, and the Deep Elf Death Mage brought it back to life. Awesome! Right, there's one down. There's the other sorcerer down. I'm not sure who summoned this six furry, honestly. I thought it would be gone by now. Because I thought one of the sorcerers had summoned it, but apparently not. Could it have been the demonologist? Yeah, I guess it probably was. <sighs> Just run away? Sounds good. You are such a boring coward. We're going to feel guilty in a sec. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire dragon. I don't have any fire resistance. That sounds scary then. Fire dragon hide, okay. Now now you can have some fire resistance. If we want it, yes. Well I don't think we have any uh yeah, we don't have any enchant armor around. I often end up doing not all of vaults. Like, I mean, of course I often don't do vaults 5. Vaults 5 is terrible. Right. But I often, like, you know, I get my first layer branch and I go into, like, vaults 1. And then it's like, yeah, that's enough vaults for me. <laughs> Whoa, I did not realize. Okay, I thought it was in a targeting menu, not walking around. I hate when I accidentally issue, like, a bunch of moves all at once, accidentally. Uh, okay, so here we have a gigantic area full of traps, right? So yep. let's set some of them off. They killed it. Hooray! No, not oh, wait, at all. That's wrong way, wrong way. Yeah. Traps, traps got dead. Right, that worked a little bit better. Right, they just sort of went around it, though. <laughs> Let's try another one there. You made it possible to go around, right? Yeah. Like, you should avoid that. Got him. All right, that's working. Tower Defense Crawl Edition. <laughs> I thought if you were doing that, you were supposed to be defending the orb, not trying to go get the orb. Yeah. Zot Defense no longer exists. Shining Eye. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> I 
Shapeshifters make your life exciting. Yeah. Ugh. Vaults, though. Jeez. Done exploring. What, what was downstairs that we ran from? Uh, everything. Ah, uh, yes, a bunch of elves. This staircase ought to be okay. I just want to, like, I don't know. I want to get a little more experience in vaults and then, I guess, finish shoals? Maybe it's depth time? I don't know. I, I ran into this problem on the last character, too, is that I just sort of feel like my skill... My, my character is petering out mm -hmm. at, at a time when there's still too much stuff to do. The problem. And some of it is probably because I trained shields. Like, I spent a ton of experience on shields that I'm not using anymore. And that was a trade-off I knew I was making. I was trading my future in exchange for my present. But which, uh, that's not necessarily a great idea. Well, no, but... Um, in Crawl, it usually is, so I don't mind too much. Well, seems to have made you uh, feel pretty awkward right now, though. Yeah, but I mean, well, better than if I were dead, right? Well, sure. I mean, maybe if you were dead, you wouldn't have to play this character anymore. Yeah, that does sound nice. <laughs> you make a cogent argument, you win. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I only win if you change the subject. Let's use the file of floods again. I don't okay. like the deep ah. jerks. Oh, excuse me, the cat is doing something she's apparently not allowed to. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She has cats and a dog. Two cats and a dog, and they get along just great as long as they're not in the same room. <laughs> Ideally not on the same floor of the Sounds house. Sounds about right. Can I, like, get a, an ice blast in there? It looks like I can. They also get along just great when the dog is outside and the cats are inside. That's another time they get along really well. <laughs> Most of the time they get along okay. They just leave each other alone. Yeah, I mean, most of the time they leave each other alone. Like, the cat jumped up on the on the little cat tree and the dog isn't allowed. I mean, he would be allowed on the cat tree, but he's never going to jump that high. So, he thinks he's not allowed, so he went to bark at the cat instead. Because that's that's against the rules if he can't do it. I see. And he likes to enforce the rules for everyone, cats included. Sounds like dog logic. I gotta remember, even though she's muted, you guys are still here. I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I had a little trouble with that on a previous I mean, episode. I'm still listening to you even when I'm muted. Well, right? I don't know, like, necessarily. Last time you weren't, of course. You actually, like, went somewhere. Okay, well, I, I did sneak away. It's true. Uh, okay, well, this is, like, a bad, bad, bad place to be. The, the Vault Warden is... Like, this stuff is doing a fair amount of damage to us, and we could maybe just buff up and take it, but... Wow, buff up and take it sounds gross. Uh, but, uh... Oh, baby, buff up and take it. The Convoker is chanting recall. Yeah, here's the recalled stuff. And the Warden is probably about to lock the doors. Are you gonna die? No. I read teleport. I knew what was coming. That's... All right. That's, you know, the skill in Crawl. And, like, I didn't do it very well there, but the point is... Recognizing danger before it's danger. Uh, and there, like, I think it was pretty clearly danger, but, uh, and it would have been better to recognize it sooner. But I did recognize it just in time as opposed to just too late. And uh, that's all that really counts. Um, certainly there was a time in my crawl career when I would have thought, like, oh, I'm in low health, but like these guys are okay, whatever, let's just keep tabbing them. <laughs> um... Sometimes that day is like yesterday. Sorry, I apologize for any strange noises I make. There may be a dog licking my foot. Oh, I thought there might be like a cat crawling around on your lap with claws or something. That's what cats nope. do. Nope. Nope. Then, then I would say ow. Dog licking the bottom of my foot is when I make like <laughs> noises. <laughs> Donald Duck. 
Dude, Donald Duck has got some ticklish feet, okay? Leave the poor duck alone. Leave the poor duck alone. Sure. What? I don't know, it just sounds weird. You're sounds weird. like rhymes with duck is all. Uh so I've been eating a lot of my perma food even when there's corpses nearby because I really do want all my fedas piety and I held tab for too long. <laughs> it's a great song, the the I held tab for too long song. Right up there with floating block of ice, man. Uh, what exactly do we do about this? There's a bunch of ranged guys. And they're normal speed. So running away could just be an option. Apparently the goal was to lick my foot for a while and then lie down right next to it so that he could get petted by it. Sphinxes are a little bit fast. And they have, like, some spells that are normally a big deal, like Paralyze, but this game are not. And they also have Smite. A Smite could be a problem. It could be. But it's the same Smite that Priests have. It's like 7 to 17 damage. It's not the worst. Okay. Um, I mean, you're always telling me that you're so scared of Smite, so... I mean, that's in the early game, mostly. Smite doesn't isn't so bad in the mid to late game, unless there's a lot of it. Uh, okay. And one Sphinx is not that much. The real problem is the Yaktar Captain and the other Yaktars, I think. Okay. You should turn them into mushrooms. Uh, yeah, let me just switch to Jiva real quick. <laughs> Ugh. I think if you do that, your god will be mad at you, so maybe you should have played that. I'm, like, tempted to put on the shield of the gone. Is you that realize crazy? that if you do that, everything is going to come after you. Yeah. On this floor. Yeah. So well, you should so probably takes, at least find a way to stair dance if you're going to do that. It takes, like, way too many turns to put on as well. It's not a good plan. Okay. Just want to, you know? So, I mean, why do you want to if it's a bad plan? <laughs> because if it didn't take any turns, it would be great. So... At least okay. You could go hack the game real quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could, uh, I could deploy a patch and then uh, rebuild the server. I could do that. It's true. <laughs> Probably not the um, the recommended method of dealing with this. I'll just I'll just reintroduce melee bug, but only if your player name is Amaloy or Yolama. Mm. Why uh, does Why does Yolama get it? Uh, can you guess? Well, I mean it's you backwards, but yeah. like, I, is, I, is that also you? Yeah. Uh. I play on that account sometimes. Right, Sack of spiders is pretty good. I thought you didn't like it because it only made ants. We've been training our evocations, haven't we? Like, we got ants, see? <laughs> <laughs> so, is this the part where you tell me I'm right? I mean, it seems like our sack of spiders still sucks, but it shouldn't. Because it only gives you ants. Ow. Uh, that hurt. Yeah. Should, like, heal wounds or something. I have so much heal wounds this game that I kind of feel okay playing a little bit fast and loose. Even though I shouldn't. That is that is probably going to haunt you at some point. Yep. Oh, more Yaktars and Yaktar captains. But when you're adjacent to these guys, they're honestly not that bad. Because they don't... Ugh. They don't shoot, shoot at, at you. you. Yeah. Um, I could read Fog. Is that crazy? You could. It might be I crazy. mean, is that a, is that an overreaction or? No, I mean I have five of them. It's just a question of whether it's really going to help at all. Sure, it will, right? Because then they then they have a much harder time shooting you. Well, fog just blocks line of sight. Oh well, fine. Which is great. They won't be able to shoot you at all until they get close enough, and then they will. So. Right, but if they're close enough, then you can hit them. Yes, that's the idea. Which was like what you were just telling me makes them not scary. This is all in theory. Right. I also don't know exactly how fog is going to react with there already being some clouds over here. It might not spread up this way, which is where I need it to be. Um, there's, there's some problems going on. Okay. Then you shouldn't do it. Yeah. But what else do I do, right? Uh, 
you look adorable and hope that they decide that they don't want to kill you. I could zap haste again. We're using up a lot of haste, but that's what it's for, and we have a lot of it. Okay. We could use teleport. I think that's probably better. Let's run away again. Yep. Yep, sorry. We might die, like, before it goes off if we're very unlucky, I suppose. You just you just always run away. No urge to entertain me. There we go. We did it. We're alive. No, we, uh, this is how we entertain you. By giving you something to complain about. I can find things to complain about. Don't worry. You just you just play the game in a fun way, and I will find things to complain about. See, in that case, uh, teleport was like a million heal wounds, right? We were able to just instantly... Not instantly. Over the course of a couple turns, we were able to teleport away and then rest for as long as we wanted and then reset the same fight, but at full health. Like, isn't that amazing? What a, what a wand. It's, Are you like trying to sell me on teleport being a good wand? Or? I have I have a used wand of teleport that I am willing to sell, <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I am writing on the Craigslist description. Only one previous owner. Yeah. Took it to uh, took it to the store on Sundays. I believe is how that line goes. Yeah, I don't know it that well, so sure. All right, Vaults three getting a little bit sketchier. I wonder what our third room is going to be. Probably slime? You found a bookshop. How helpful. God, even what is our second room? Do I have to do shoals? <laughs> I mean, you got to do something, right? Yeah. It's just like my defenses look numerically great. 37, 17. Pretty good. Yeah, it sounds pretty fucking good. It's not like amazing. I'd rather have like 20 evasion. Sure. You know, so train I... some decks. I mean... Here I am. I think my HP is just kind of my HP is like it's okay. It's just I don't know. The character just sort of HP. You could train fighting. Or those are the two things we're training right now. Well, then I have no answer for you. The character just sort of lacks punch because we spent a bunch of XP on shields and we're not using it anymore. And like that's fine. You just have to work with it. Um, none of these are really good. Passwall would be fun, but I think we're sort of at the point of the game anyway, where a lot of um, a lot of the scary monsters are in stone rather than rock, and you can't pass wall through rock. Right. It might be good again in depths. Right, and stone. by you can't pass wall through rock, you mean you can't pass wall through stone? I might have said uh, the other. I don't know. Is <laughs> allegedly, I said the wrong thing, but uh, there's no evidence to the contrary. So <laughs> yes, it's not as though everything you say is being recorded. That's that sounds very dystopian. I hope I'm not being recorded. <laughs> That'd be spooky as heck. What if everyone, everyone in the world, could hear what you're saying right now if they wanted to? Nice. We killed him before the recall went off. Good old haste. <laughs> Are you just ignoring the part where I'm like... No, I'm showing you the opposite world where nobody can hear what you're saying, and it's just as bad. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Surprise, you're part of a social experiment. <laughs> Welcome to college. Uh, more Dude, I have been out of college for long enough that I should no longer be participating in unwilling social experiments. I feel like even in college, probably it's an ethical breach these days. I, well, it was always an ethical breach. It's just now they actually get pissed at Always? You. I don't know about always. Humanity has been around change. for a long time. Ethics don't change. I don't think that's true at all. People have been, you know, philosophers have been, you know, learning thinking about new models of, like, how it is to be a good person, and, like, that stuff changes. I... I don't want to have this conversation on YouTube. <laughs> You're not having it with YouTube commenters, of course. You're having it with, like, someone really smart. <laughs> no, I'm having it with you. Uh, I was referring to... Am I sure? Actually, yeah, good question. Let's, let's just eat a pizza. <laughs> I really do need piety, and I don't need the chunks at all. You were referring to, no, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, 
<laughs> See, adjacent to a bunch of Yaktars, it's fine. It's sure, far sure. away from a bunch of Yaktars. Let's... Oh, too late. The Toadstools are dead. Oh. Dented Amulet. Would yeah, I, would I still wear piety or faith? Not really, but I'll try it. Amulet of Rage. Awesome. Mm, mm. I mean, right now, I definitely need the magic resistance more in vaults, but... But now you can get angry. Evocable Berserk is pretty cool. Yeah. And we're training evocations, so... So now you can get angry. They won't. They wouldn't like you when you're angry. Did you ever did you ever play Day of the Tentacle? No. Do you know anything about it? No. I have never heard of it before this instant. It was an it's an old old like nineties game. Okay. Uh, by Lucas Arts or Lucas Films or whatever they were calling themselves at the time. I think it was Lucas Arts. I played a bunch of Lucas Arts games. I'm surprised I didn't play this one. Um, it is a like kind of a point and click adventure game. Uh, Oh, I mostly didn't play those. Okay. Uh, is it is it in the style of King's Quest? It kind of is in the style of King's Quest, actually. Uh, so where nothing makes any sense? Yes and no. Uh, a lot of the stuff kind of seems absurd, but they present you with clues beforehand. Whereas in King's Quest, it's like, of course, you just give the scarf to the Minotaur, and then, like, you know, whatever. And, and then, like, uh, you... Oh, yeah, you, you like, you gotta put some cheese on the door so that the king of the rats will come out and be friends with you and like, I mean, all kinds of ridiculous stuff, right? Right, right. Um, it's very and, much a nothing makes any damn sense. Yeah, so in Day of the Tentacle, there's some stuff like that. I was reminded of this, by the way, because uh, Day 9 has been playing it, like, one day a week on stream. Um, and he played it as a kid and so, like, remembers some of the solutions to things and not all of them. It's pretty fun. Uh, but, uh... Day of the Tentacle. Why was I talking about this? Just because it's great. Um, and because Sean was playing it. I don't know. What were we talking about before? I don't know. You you asked me if I had ever played any Day of the Tentacle. Uh, anyway, the point is, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> and it was... Uh, I, I don't know. I just watched Sean play some of it again. And, like, there's some things that I remember. Like, I played this and I was like... I don't know, nine or something. Right. Uh, and none of it made any sense to me. Like, I'm sure I was following just a guide somewhere that told me, like, what thing to use on what other thing. There's sure. no way I figured it out. Um, I mean, oh, I remember. You said. You rub things on other things. You said um, that you, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And I was rem reminded that there's a guy in the game who's, like, um, you know, an NPC who is. Right. Uh, who, apparently, the, like, I never played the prequel, not the prequel, but the game that came before. Right. Which was called Maniac Mansion. And apparently this guy who's in the second one was, like, a really scary, nasty guy. And in the, in the second one, he's, like, undergoing therapy to control his rage, and he's just a quiet stamp collector, but, like, you can make him mad if you say things. Anyway. I see. I don't and even know what I want to. that's a Hulk reference, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he looks kind of like the Hulk, honestly. Okay. Um, I don't even know what I want to acquire. Like, maybe a weapon would be okay, but I have a plus nine weapon of freezing, so that's pretty good. You seem to be having trouble with having enough punch. Yeah, 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 but, I mean, we're not going to get an improvement. Like, okay. A, a triple sword of something would be great. Well, you don't have the enchant weapon for it anyway. Uh, armor? There's several armor slots that aren't that great. I can get a wand, but I have the big three. Fruit? I think I have enough fruit. Okay. Miscellaneous? I think I have all the main evokers. Could the ammunition be awesome, awesome for you? No. Okay. I'll take armor. It's probably going to be junk. It always is. Ooh. That's like, that might be okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> the minus four cloak of complete protection. Great. Wow, that's um, that's amazing. That, there's a reason they call it a scroll of disappointment. <laughs> um, anyway, there's just like ridiculous stuff in that game that I, I remember. When I, mm -hmm. I, I look at the screen, and I'm like, oh, that's the thing you got to do. And Sean is seeing the same thing, but, like, remembering different things than me. Fair anyway, enough. So there's, there's some things in the game that, like, you have no idea what's going to happen when you do them. But it's right. like, they, they... So he's playing it, actually, with, like, he does a little bit of game design himself, I think. And, like, he's playing with some friends who are also analyzing it for game design perspective. Okay. 
and they're talking about like there's one ridiculous puzzle where like you you end up like you you find some you're, you're like back in the past in like uh, at the where the what, what's it called the when they're signing the Constitution or putting the Constitution together George Washington and Jefferson are all there the Constitutional Convention you probably um, and uh, there's this old like horse and buggy kind of thing out in the in the yard and you have a you eventually find uh, like a brush you can a brush and you find some water and you can put soap in the water and it's like well here's a here's a car that's clearly very dirty I don't know I guess I'll try cleaning the car and why then not you can look at the license plate and then when you do clean the car it rains because of course it rains when you clean the car of course it rains when you clean and that the car. lets the storm go so that uh, Edison can go fly a kite in the rain or whatever and it's like you had no idea it was gonna lead to this conclusion but when you did, it was kind of a satisfying joke, and the game encouraged you to do it even though you didn't know why. So, like, it's better than King's Quest in that way. Fair enough. And some stuff is the opposite, where it's like, you really need to find some decaf coffee, is, like, a thing that comes up. And you're like, okay. You know, so-and-so is, is awake too long, and we need him to be asleep. We need to trick him into drinking decaf coffee. It's like, okay, great, got it. Now you know you're looking for decaf coffee. Yeah? Uh, I don't want to fight Mara at all. This is evident in the fact that I am running away. Um, That's a, probably a reasonable choice if you don't want to fight someone to run away from them. On the other hand, Mara has Blink, which is evil. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I don't know that we really need to teleport just yet, but I don't see how else we're getting away. Uh, magic? Aliens? We could... We could consider, like, waiting for Mara to duplicate us and then pop, like, Might and Haste and so on, but, like, ugh. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll just leave. See you later, Mara. We have plenty of teleport, and this is what it's for. Okay. And then I think we'll just, uh, as soon as we can, get out of vaults forever. Because you don't like vaults. I just, uh, we, we feel a bit out of our depth here. We're, we're having to take everything pretty carefully, which is fine, but it means that, you know... We, like, so where are you going to go instead? Shoals, probably. Maybe Elf. So the other two places where you think that everything is too hard. And yeah, I mean, but, like, we tried them earlier, and we got through some of them. And now we're stronger, right? Like, I mean, that's how the game works. Yeah. Um, I mean, in theory, you know. Yeah. It's just, uh... character is a little bit weak and we just have to keep doing everything at a fairly slow pace and going back and forth between the branches as we get to the two hard parts of each one then go back once we're strong enough yep sounds, like sounds we, dull. we really need resists uh i feel like is one problem okay there's not really any way to get them uh, okay but like if i could that would be great well like you need to find more treasure right yeah, that's true. Like we could raid, we could raid Elf looking for treasure. Yeah, I mean that's that's how you get resists is, is treasures. Yep. I have applied logic to your problem. Is it helpful? I mean, kinda. <laughs> it's sort of the best you can ever really hope for from logic. Kind of helpful. <laughs> kind of helpful. The best you can hope for from logic. Yeah. Not, for example, you know, revolutionizing the industrial world or anything. So another puzzle from Day of the Tentacle, which I did remember. <laughs> How do I get out? I'm trapped. Help. What? Where is the exit? Oh, it's down <laughs> here. need to find you the exit? It's down here. Um, is like something I remember. There's like an ice box, right? Okay. In, in, so you, you play this game as three different characters, one in the past, one in the present, and one in the future. Okay. And like... You have a time so travel. That's sort of a cute conceit. You have a time travel machine that can transport items, but not people, and you're trying to fix it so it can transport people and get back together. Okay. And um, so in the future, or sorry, in the present, you're in this. You're in like they're all in the same place, in like right. a, a motel or something, basically. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do? We should uh, we should end the episode. Everyone, I'm sorry about this terrible cliffhanger. You're all dying to find out about some ridiculous day of the tentacle puzzle from 20 years ago. 
Uh, <laughs> but you're just going to have to wait. We're uh, we're going to end the episode as soon as we get to the entrance elf here. <laughs> um, welcome to YouTube, where things don't make sense. <laughs> no, I just love the cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, that's the big cliffhanger. You guys got to tune in next time to find out what happened 20 years ago in a video game by LucasArts. That we are not actually playing here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're not going to play that on stream, probably ever. But, uh, you know, if you want to, you can watch Day 9. He's pretty good. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll, I'll see you next time. <laughs>